Got stuff? Everybody has stuff. When is a collectible really just clutter? The burning question, what to do with stuff when it has outlived its usefulness? Toss, sell, fix, or donate? We're all about stuff. Dan Diaz is all about stuff. Five floors of this Worcester warehouse full of, well, you name it, it's here. The old cell phones, rocking horses. Old LPs, turquoise refrigerators, and on and on and on. All stuff destined for movie sets. Massachusetts has really become a hotbed for filming. It just really goes back to the film incentives that are in the state. Props that have set the scene for a long list of films shot locally. Like this is the chairs that Bradley Cooper was sitting in. In American Hustle. When we did Defending Jacob, these are like the benches they would use in the courtroom and they would go with the chairs that are on the other side over there somewhere. And the calls keep coming. George Clooney people. Hey Cam, how you doing buddy? Yes, there was a recent George Clooney sighting in Ipswich. The prop shop doubles as Westerman restaurant equipment. Actually, it's the other way around. The movie part of the business began with Martin Scorsese's Shutter Island, says owner Ron Entwistle. A lot of that movie was filmed right in a cafeteria. He came here and found some used equipment, and Dan ended up uh, making relations with these set decorators, and uh, little by little, we kept building on it, building on it, building on it. It's something I never expected to take off the way it did. So this is the spy room. A lot of it was used on a, sh a Netflix called Sleepover. I don't think your mom is just a regular mom. Quit touching stuff, let's go. I have a lot of these items, like you'll see the same couch that was maybe in, in the equalizer, that same couch would have been a Manchester by the sea. Set designers peruse the overstuffed aisles looking for lamps, telephones, TVs, appliances, much of it vintage. Then the truck will be sent, we'll tag it, we'll document it, they'll go off and then they'll come back, return it, we'll put it back in inventory, we'll do it all over again. The restaurant equipment side of the business comes in handy when a vintage jukebox needs repair for, say, that Clooney movie. Here at Westerman's, there's no such thing as too much stuff. I do love stuff, absolutely. There's no escaping it the day we need to rid ourselves of stuff. From collectibles to kitsch, treasures to trinkets, fine to not so fine art. In 45 years, Irene Lord of Lord and Ladies Estate Sales has seen it all. Some people just hand me the keys to their house and say, please sell everything that's there. Our objective is to repurpose furnishings. We don't want to see them go in a dumpster if possible. Here, Lord and her team are readying this house for a sale. I like helping people in any way that I can because it is a very, very emotional time, regardless of your reason for the move. When people hear estate sale, sometimes people think that's above my means. Is that the case? We have every age attending sales. Actually, I've got a couple of youngsters that are teenagers that collect books or musical instruments. The fact that people can see it online first and then come makes them more willing to wander around and explore. The goal, sell it all. What sells and to whom has changed with time. So I've heard about the brown furniture dilemma. What is that and what's happening? Our classic mahogany pieces with inlay and things that we coveted are not so popular anymore. Millennials, in particular, uh, don't want brown furniture. They might even paint them horrors, but they do. And that's fine, uh, because this beautiful piece of furniture is being used again, and that's huge. And why, after 45 years, Irene Lord remains committed. People have thanked me afterwards. They've told me that I, I serve a purpose. I love it. I hope I never have to stop working. 
And Irene Lord says she's been busier than ever. There's a glut of used furniture and people are buying at estate sales because they can't find what they want new. And if they do buy new, many stores are backlogged with deliveries. And back to Westerman's prop shop where Dan Diaz says he's running out of room. George Clooney kept him very busy recently. And now a new Christmas film with Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell is gearing up to film locally. Coming up, stuff for those in need.